Our next guest has a unique job that everyone wishes they had. She is a professional taste tester who is here to teach me the proper way to taste foods. Please welcome Jordan Myrick. Come on in. Hi. Thank you so much for having Thank me. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm, I'm so intrigued by this whole thing. Can you explain to us what is your job? Absolutely. So I work for a website called Sporked, where we taste everything you could possibly taste at the grocery store, every category, every item, and then we rank them. We tell you the best, the worst, the best bang for your buck oh. to help you buy the most delicious things at the grocery store. Yeah, that does sound like the ideal job. Okay, so tell me, what are we tasting today? We're starting with cheese pizzas. So these are all frozen cheese pizzas that you can get at pretty much any grocery store. We're gonna taste all of them, and I want your opinion because today you are a professional food taste tester. Okay. We're gonna start right down here. All right, let's try this one first. Okay. What do you initially think of the visual? That's a, so that's a part of the test. What, yes, all of you know, it. I'm big about how food looks okay. first. That's good that we're working together it looks because all right. I'm the opposite. <laughs> I say, how does it taste? Okay, your piece look better than mine. Though. Okay, wait, hold, do you want to trade? No, you got your okay. fingers on all it. Right, okay. <laughs> it's all a right. show. Mm. What do you think? First word that comes to your mind. Kind of tastes cafeteria-ish. Cafeteria-ish, right? When I look at this pizza, this reminds me of pizza that you would get school lunch. Okay. Right? Okay. Not bad. Not the best frozen pizza I've ever had, but I think it has its time and its place, you know? Okay. So then we're gonna do the next most important thing, which is a palate cleanser. Oh. You palate cleanse with soda. And I know that seems wild. I'm not doing science out here. This works. I like to drink soda. It tastes good. It cuts through the fat of the food you just ate. Cleans your palate. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. It got a little too good to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna try this next one. Okay. A little thicker. It is thicker. Looks a little more artisanal. Okay. Hmm. This, uh, it's a lot of sauce. Very saucy. Very, very salty, saucy. too. The sauce is very salty. It's more, as the kids say, flavorish than that one, though. Sure. That Absolutely. Means it's good. So it's this a was a little better. more adult, maybe. I can have, yeah. Now, are you surprised by any of the foods that you try? I am. You know, everyone is like, oh, that's such a fun job. Like, today we're eating queso and pizza. Like, that rules. But my very first day, I had to try 30 gluten-free breads, and I did think I was going to have to go to the hospital. Really? Um, it was horrible. Okay, so if you try 30, mm -hmm. what do you rank them as you go? Because when you forget what it tastes like, Absolutely, especially the more boring the food, the harder it is to remember each one. So I write little notes as I go, and then I'll rearrange them as I'm, as I'm tasting. Okay. What do you think about this? I was wondering, should we rank them right now? Sure, you can start ranking them if you want. You know what, it's almost, what do you do when it's a tie between? So That's okay. They like neck and neck. That, that one, I don't know about that. Okay, we're not sure on that one. These two are tied. So it feels like things are appropriate where okay. they are right now. Okay. Okay, great, we got a taste test, uh -oh, uh, a little cleanse. So we get to sip a lot of things too. You get to sip a lot of things. You can also at home do this with wine, whatever feels right to you. Any tips you have for when you go to the grocery store and stuff? Absolutely. Do not be seduced by packaging. A lot of times the things with the most aesthetically pleasing packaging taste the worst. Mm. And the store brand thing is delicious. Sometimes it's even made by the same like larger company, it's just put in a different bottle. They be trying to trick you. Huh? They are trying to trick you. What about prices? I shouldn't talk on the mouth for her. They're too high. The prices are too high in general. Jordan, this one ain't it at all. I'm gonna just put this down. You like that or you don't? You don't no, like that? No, ma'am. Okay, this is great. What don't you like about that? Um. Okay. This is part of the job. This is part of the job. Um. It almost feel like a like a kid made it and put it in the microwave and... Sure. You know? Yeah, like your parents are working and you're trying your best. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, mm -hmm. this one... <laughs> th okay, this one, can you guess what is different with this one? Like if you had to guess looking at it? It's a thing for us? What, what, what? It's vegan. Oh. You can tell. That, I mean, look at the cheese. That's vegan. That's why it looks so different. It looks that's when I know some vegan when I can't identify what it is. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I'd be like, what is that on your plate? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. All right. Remember, it's vegan. And vegans need to eat too. It's actually not that bad. If I was vegan, 
I think the cheese has that nice melty consistency that replicates real cheese that I think a vegan would like. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.